hello guys welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you some techniques which you can use to do web scraping in your linux terminal by just writing one single command and i think this is a must learn skill because if you use internet there are a lot of scenarios where you need to get some information from a particular website and you can use web scraping to save a lot of your time i can't tell you how many times i use web scraping to save so much time during my digital marketing internship almost 50 percent of my job was to find some information from a particular website and i did web scraping a lot at that time and save more than 12 hours of my day so without wasting any more time let's just get start with an example i prepared so this is amazon.in and i want to buy this moyu along 3 by 3 speed cube but the issue is the price is a lot so i'm waiting for some kind of offer what i used to do is i used to come to this page and see the price just to check if there is any drop in the price and this is risky i don't want to you know lose any opportunity so what i will do now is i will scrape this page to get the price and i will integrate this to a program so that program will tell me if there is any change in price now the first thing i need to scrap this page is this html document on my terminal and this is a really modern website so suppose if you are using some old school website like leaves my website you can just use curl to get the web page on your you know terminal so i'm getting the html document of luke smith's website but this is not the case with amazon because amazon is you know it's a modern website so it's bloated so if you try to just copy the url and use curl to get the html document this is not going to work so first go to inspect element and then go to network so here you click on reload and then you will get uh, some content here but all you need is this first one so this is the first one the amazon.in so let me zoom in okay so now uh, right click go to copy and copy as curl and then go to your terminal and paste so by using this i am 100 percent sure that you will get exactly what you are getting on your browser because here you are making exact same request as you are making in your browser there is no difference amazon are not going to know that you are using your terminal and not your browser but as you can see it's a lot gibberish and uh, i tested this so you don't actually need all this gibberish you can remove almost everything but don't remove this uh, browsing browser heading so let me just show you and you will understand so this is user agent where is that user agent okay this is so don't remove this one and you can remove a any other header okay so i think this is going to work so if i press enter I will get HTML on my terminal and as you can see there are a lot of gibberish this is why I hate modern web but don't worry this is not going to bother us or stop us so by the way what is this meow this is something funny Amazon developer at this okay so what you want to do now is just redirect this into temp.html and after this open this temp.html from firefox or any browser now this was not very important but should always do this to check that you are getting exact same page which you are getting in your browser so always make sure that you are getting exactly what you want and not anything else from your curl command now the next thing which you need to do is i want this price okay so i am going to hover on this and then go to inspect element so here uh, this is let me zoom in so this is the price and i want this element okay so here you can see the id price block and i'm going to copy this id this is what you need now here i can also copy the class name but if you get id it's always good to prioritize id because you can have multiple tags with same class name but you can't have multiple tags with same id because this is not a good practice in web development so here i have my temp.html and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pipe this in pub so what is pub it's a really awesome program before pub i was using regex to do web scraping but then somebody shared this tech overflow answer where people were saying that regex is not for web scraping it's not a good practice so then uh, the guy who shared that uh, stack overflow link gave me this link and that's how i found this amazing tool and i think this is highly underrated 
like only 6k star this should be more popular because you can literally scrape any website by using this so make sure to install this you can have this in uh, you know aur so uh, yeah so this is in aur so how pub work is first you write pub and then uh, two quotations and you have to write the tag which you want to scrape so i want to scrape spend tag as you can see here uh, where is that so as you can see here the spend tag and then you can type hashtag for id and dot for class name so this is the beauty of pub that you can use the css selector so i want to select from id so hashtag and then i will paste my id so if i press enter now so here i'm getting what i want my price which is beautiful but i'm also getting some html which i don't want so for this uh, you i can again use pub uh, what i have to do is i have to write text and then these angle brackets so now if i press enter uh, i will not get any html i will only get whatever inside my html which means the text which i want so here i am getting my amount so now i am getting my output but i want to write a really small program so i can uh, notify myself uh, and to write that program i don't want this rupee symbol and i also don't want this floating point so for that what i can use is i can use said so i can replace first two characters let me just so from starting let's just replace first two character with nothing so if i press enter here i am getting rid of my rupee symbol and i can again pipe this into cut command so cut minus t for delimiter and dot for dot delimiter and then minus f1 for field 1 so what this will do is it will divide my string from dot so it means this floating point and if i press enter now i'm only getting field 1 which is 999 my price so the next thing what i can do is i can make a variable out of this so this is like my price and here this is going to get confusing and i don't want to confuse you so let's just store it into price okay so this is for simplicity you don't actually have to store it in your in any variable but let's do this to make the program simple so here i can use this notation to do some comparison so if price is greater than 800 so in that case i can't buy so and and echo you can't buy or if that's not the case then in that case you can buy so if i press enter it's saying you can't buy because the price is 999 and i can't buy if price is greater than 800 and if i change this to um, you know if i can buy at the greater than 800 then you can buy so this is like a if else statement but a lot cleaner okay so now i don't want to write price here because i want to do it real time so for that let me just first copy this so for that let me remove this price and let me copy my command and paste it so let me change this to variable okay so now if i press enter uh, it's, it's still working also instead of this cat html i want to paste my curl command which was you know very ugly now i don't have to do this all in just one command i can you know divide this into multiple commands and make a whole bash script for this so here i made the bash script but there are a few changes that instead of storing my web page in temp.html i am storing it in this web page variable and here on line 5 i am echoing my web page instead of cat temp.html also on line 7 i'm not printing i can buy or i can't buy because first i don't want to know if i can't buy i only want to know that when i can buy so i'm sending this notification go buy cube it's cheaper now also i removed some unnecessary portion of my url so as you can see the url is little bit shorter so now by running this script uh, i can get notification if there is any drop in price and this is very useful so now i can run this script as a cron job daily and if there is any drop in rescue price this script will notify me so now if you guys want to try this thing and here's an idea for you which you can do so if i go google like mahatma quotes okay so if you type some you know famous person name and then quotes on google you are going to get you know some famous quotations so what you can do is you can go to inspect element and if you look here 
these are the quotations okay so what you have to do is you have to use pop and you know grab these quotations so try to make a program which is like a quotation finder and uh, all i can say is that it's possible you can do it just try your best also if you hate google just find some website or try your best to make a program like quotation finder so that would be fun if you successfully made this program just make a github and share the link in the comments and uh, i will show it in my pro you know it, it just make me happy that um i teach each someone something so okay so that's it for this video i wish i could leave you my love but my heart is a mess my days they begin with your name and nights end with your breath i wish i could leave you my love